2022 Subaru BRZ First Drive, history repeats itself. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Cast your mind back to 2013 or thereabouts, when Subaru's rear-drive BRZ and its cousin, the Toyota 86, then known as the Scient FRS, were new. Although nearly identical, the rear-drive sports cars had different personalities, the FRS was more playful while the BRZ was more shy about shaking its tail feathers. Fast forward to 2022, and as Yogi Berra once said, it's deja vu all over again. The Toyota is a sly happy goofball and the new 2022 Subaru BRZ is even more serious about getting through the curves as quickly as possible, i.e., with fewer speed-robbing slides. 2022 Subaru BRZ on the track We got our first taste of the second-generation Subaru BRZ Coupe on the track at Connecticut's Lime Rock Park, not far from Monticello Motor Club where we tried out the 2022 Toyota GR86 just a couple of weeks prior. The choice of venues was telling. Monticello is a curvy, playful track, while Lime Rock is shorter, just seven corners, and deceptively fast. Monticello highlighted the GR86's love of oversteer, while Lime Rock's higher speed turn showed off the Subaru BRZ's ability to keep its rear end solidly planted at high velocities. Truth be told, we felt some initial disappointment at the BRZ's reluctance to rotate, but as we got the hang of the track and its rhythm, our level of respect for the Subaru rose rapidly along with our speed. The BRZ stayed tight on our chosen path, allowing us to concentrate on our line and make subtle adjustments with the throttle. Like the Toyota, the Subaru is a patient teacher, it highlights mistakes with a little slip from either front or rear, rather than punishing them with snap over steer. As we refined our technique, we could appreciate what BRZ line manager Michael Reddick had told us about the team's guiding philosophy, our focus was on making sure that what the driver puts in, the driver gets out, that their expectations are met every time. 2022 Subaru BRZ ain't misbehaving. We also took Subaru sports car for laps on Lime Rock's autocross loop, which is more like a miniature racetrack than a traditional autocross, and that gave us a better opportunity to poke and prod at the limits of traction and handling. Like the GR86, the BRZ comes in two trim levels, in this case the higher limited with 18-inch wheels and sticky Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires and the lesser premium with Michelin Primacy tires on 17-inch wheels. Both wheels are nearly identical 10-spoke designs, we had to scope the tire's lettering or size information to tell them apart. We pushed hard in both versions, and with the PS4 tires, the BRZ stays stuck. The exception was one particular uphill corner that levels off suddenly, abruptly unloading the suspension. Here we could reliably hang out the tail and extend the drift with power, and the BRZ made recovery as easy as in the 86. The BRZ Premium's greasier primacy rubber was easier to break loose with the simple expedient of speed, and gathering the tail was a snap here, too. Of course, the secret to autocrossing is to slow down to go faster, and when we backed off our pace, we were amazed at the precision and light feel of the BRZ's steering, though as with the GR86 we would have liked more feedback. BRZ vs GR86 – Design Differences A look at the hardware shows why the differences between the 2022 Subaru BRZ and the 2022 Toyota GR86 are so pronounced. Both cars use a new, stiffer body shell, but the suspension tuning tells the tale, compared to the GR86, the new BRZ's spring rates are increased by 7% up front and decreased by 11% out back. The Toyota carries over the old car's rear suspension, with its stabilizer bar mounted to the subframe, while the Subaru has a new design with a 1mm narrower bar anchored to the body. There are other differences, including aluminum front knuckles and a hollow front bar for the BRZ, which reduces unsprung weight compared to the Toyota's steel knuckles and solid bar. The changes translate to a stiffer front and softer rear for the Subaru, and it's the stiffer end of a car that lets go first. There are other side effects to the changes in tuning, the Toyota's ride is a bit more compliant while the BRZ rides harder and generates more road noise. The BRZ's more studious attitude can be felt on public roads, as well, the Toyota gives you the impression you're pushing hard without getting too far past the speed limit, while the BRZ feels like it could always go faster.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.